budget management is always one of the things that people ask about and it really annoys me with how they often view budget management. You'll see job requirements that say you must have had experience managing a hundred plus million dollar budget. And then you'll see one that says must have had experience managing a hundred thousand plus budget. And for me, the plus makes it easier, not harder. Um, it was definitely harder managing a budget when you were at a camp and you had a $40,000 budget than it was working at Microsoft managing a multi-million dollar budget. When you're talking about $40,000, a small mistake can be catastrophic. You can forget to have put the sales tax on an item and instantly have the numbers change that you have to cut other things from your budget. In a multi-million dollar budget, there's more play and there's also more room for negotiations. I can go into a company and say, hey, I'm about to spend two and a half million dollars with you. I want a 10% discount. And even if you can't get the full 10%, the fact that you can say, or I'm not going to buy this stuff, is enough to give them pause. They're going to make enough money on that that they have to evaluate what price they're actually going to give you. When you're a camp and you're talking about $40,000, you say, hey, if you don't lower your price, I'm not going to buy this $75 product from you. And they look at you like, okay, it's not worth my time to negotiate with you. If you don't want it, screw you. And as such, the way I view budgets is very different than the way a lot of the people that are hiring for people who are going to manage budget size. When I was at Microsoft, building out my lab for the first time was a multi-million dollar project. And I did have to make very hard decisions about what things I was going to need for the next five years based on a budget that was assigned to me for you know, two quarters. In managing my own company, I've had to make very hard budget decisions. You know, when you're when you're managing your own company, you have to decide how many hours are you going to give a temporary employee. What does your cash flow look like? Um, if you've just started working on a project that, for whatever reason, is about to blow up, are you going to put more money into the project and hurt your profitability or are you possibly going to lose money in order to make the project a success in order to never lose that business again sometimes for issues that aren't even your fault or are specifically the client's fault uh, I worked on a project where the company that I was doing the project for pissed off the people that were donating the bandwidth for their video conference and without that video bandwidth the rest of the project was dead in the water and I had to choose between letting the project fail and having people know that the project that I worked on failed even though it wasn't my fault or coming up with the money to make the bandwidth available losing money on the total project in order to make the project a success when you're in a large organization, it's easier to say, hey, we're about to, to lose all of our profitability on this project that we just did, and we're going to lose another $2,000, but I think it's the right thing to do so that we don't lose face. But when it's your own money and you say, yeah, I think I'm going to lose the money that I was about to make for the last six weeks worth of work, and I'm going to give up $2,000 so that I can make this project a success, is a lot harder. And those kinds of budget decisions are the ones that I think really separate a person who is good at budgeting and a person who's bad at budgeting. It's not about how many millions of dollars, it's how much run or what percentage of variance do you have that makes a budget hard. If you have $100 million of budget and you could in fact achieve your goals on $75 million, you've got 25% play and that's very easy to budget for. Anybody can get within 25%. It's when you have to do $150 million worth of stuff on a $100 million budget and you have to cut a bunch of things that it's hard. 
And where I really think it's hard is when you have a $40,000 budget and you really need a $60,000 budget. And so you have to make decisions about whether or not arts and crafts is more important than canoeing and whether you're going to repair a pontoon boat or whether you're going to get popsicle sticks so that you can make lanyards. And that, to me, is where a person really shines in being able to do budgeting.